All right, in this video, we're going to do a quick walkthrough of how to configure the Podio Tools help desk. Um, the simplest thing that I can tell you is really what you need to do is you need to take these two links and simply drag them up to your bookmarks bar. Okay. You can also create a folder like I did here called Podio Tools and put them in there. All you need to do is right click on your bookmark bar, say new folder, give it a name like Podio Tools. You'll see this folder here and then you would just drag them into that folder. Um, but since I've already done that, I'm just going to leave it that way. And then what you'll need to do is go ahead and navigate over to one of your actual Podio apps. So for example, I have this Projects app here. Um, this is a, a Projects app that I just pulled out of the app library uh, out of Podio. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Podio Tools Configure. The first thing you'll see is this uh, permissions uh, deal where you're allowing us to have access to your Podio Tools uh, app in this case. So we're going to go ahead and click on Grant Access. And then you're going to get the configuration form uh, for this app and you're going to go ahead and fill in all these fields. Take note that the um, email from field is looking for workspace contact field, as you can see over here in the help. And so um, project owner, project team, these don't really look like um, what I would expect you would want to use as maybe like a client contact. So what you may need to do is go back into that particular app and simply add a new client contact field. So let's go ahead and do that really quickly. Just drag over a client contact field here, and, or a contact field, and call it client contact. I would recommend that you leave both of these checked and then save that. Now we're going to go ahead and click on configure again and you will see that now the client contact field does show up there and we can go ahead and select that as our email from field. Um, if you want to map uh, the email subject field to one of your fields like project title and the email body field is optional you can optionally um, map that to a field and we'll go map it to project description. Then fill in uh, some contact information about yourself. Um, this email address here that you're going to put in here is going to be something like ticket at mydomain.com, support, help, projects, whatever we want to use as the main email address where when people send an email into your system, that's what you're going to use. But really that email address has to be set up as a forwarding address um, to forward into an email that we're going to tell you about as soon as you're done with the configuration. So let's just call this uh, demo at infranet.com. And then I'm going to click on personalize, personalize reply to name. That's going to make it to where uh, every time you do a reply, it's actually going to put the name of the actual Podio user who's doing the reply. So if it was me, it would put Patrick Style. If it was you, maybe it would put John Smith. If instead you wanted to have a more generic name, like just maybe um, the help desk, and that was the f what showed up as the from reply to name, then you could go ahead and put that in there. Anyways, then um, you can optionally configure the autoresponder. If you're not going to have clients emailing into this app, then you don't even have to configure this. But you can, of course, go in here and change it up however you want. And then specify an email signature. And you see that this username here allows you to specify that I want to put the actual Podio user's name in there. So you can put Patrick Style or John Smith or your name. We'll automatically replace that in there uh, based on the actual Podio user that's using the reply form. So that's all you have to do, then click on save. And so then once we do uh, save it, we will uh, be presented with this configuration complete screen. It goes ahead and tells you, hey, please set up this ticket email address, this one that you had told us about, and set that up as a forwarding uh, email address to forward to this particular email address. This is going to be what is going to send that email into our system, and then our system will process that, insert it in as a new item in this particular app that you've configured into the projects app in this case. And also this information is going to get emailed to you in the contact email address that you had specified. And that's all you have to do. Now this uh, particular app is configured and if I go back to the app and then I have to uh, go into an item and it's not enough to, to just bring it up in this preview mode. You actually have to bring up the item to where the item shows up in the URL and then you can use the Podio Tools reply link and then you might get a warning like this and it tells you that we can't do a reply because the client contact does not have a valid contact. So let's close that window and go back in here and edit our item and go ahead and add in a client contact. John Q customer and we'll give him an email and save that. 
So now we've got that, we'll go ahead and save the item. Now we can go ahead and do Podio Tools Reply, and we have a reply form all ready to go. So that's how you configure the Podio Tools Help Desk. Uh, let us know if you have any questions at all. Just go ahead and email us at support at podiotools.com. Thank you.